Hi, I'm Phil Berman from Balance Catamarans. Uh, working here on answering some of the frequently, answer, uh, frequently asked questions that we get at Balance Catamarans. <clears throat> One of them that uh, so sometimes people ask me is, uh, well, um, where do you use carbon in your boats? And um, on all of our boats, we always use a lot of carbon in the chain plate areas and in what I call the, you know, the, the really high load areas of the boat because that's where you get really good benefits out of carbon. It gives you a lot of strength um, uh, so you don't have to engineer the boat with as much uh, e-glass in that particular area. And so uh, depending, our, our boats are all different, but I'm on a 526 now and in a 526 we use carbon on all of the beams that run across the boat, around all of the um, bulkhead uh, tops and sides on all the chain plates. Um, we use it on our davits. Uh, we use it, uh, some of it on these um, structural posts here. Um, we use uh, carbon on a structural post that hold up in between the salon doors. Um, it just basically, carbon used in the right places, we use it for the um, uh, supports for the bimini, um, just gives you great advantages. Um, the thing that a lot of people don't understand is that um, doing a boat in all carbon, you save a little bit of weight, but really not very much. And part of the reason for that is that you have to bulk up the skin thickness of the hulls uh, a certain amount, whether you do it with carbon or with e-glass to achieve regulatory approval. And so it, it's actually possible in a carbon boat to build the um, skin thickness less than you can get in some in some countries to be approved but you can only use that for kind of a racing application where you just don't care about uh, building to standards. And so the e-glass carbon epoxy uh, type of boat is incredibly light. So the way we build the Balance 526, for example, um, the 620 and all the, the larger ones is essentially pretty much like all the gunboats were built in South Africa. Um, in fact, a lot of the people that work there are working with us um, now at Balance because that technology, that way of building boats was you know, quite, quite uh, quite well developed in South Africa in Cape Town, uh, Cape Town circles. Um, and there's a lot of guys that, you know, are used to building, the, you know, that kind of boat, very hand uh, fabricated boats with the carbon used in the right places, e-glass, epoxy, spray finished boats, which leads to just like a really light, really stiff boat. But they are extremely labor intensive to build because, you know, when you're building like that, you are building a boat that's very light. Um, and you're not using a lot of uh, pre-made fiberglass modules and that sort of thing. On the Balance 482, which we're building in Cape Town, and uh, on the 451, which we're still doing over in China, um, those boats are built with more female tools, um, and we do the interiors in polyester resin, and the exteriors of the boat are done in vinyl ester resin, and they're spray finished. Uh, well, no, I'm sorry, they're not spray finished. We do them, in, they're, they're with gel coat, which is done in the molds. And, and the, the primary reason for that is that um, if you want to bring the price of a boat down, uh, you need to build it a lot faster. And um, we found that there was a high demand um, for the balance design in a slightly lower price point and some people wanting a slightly smaller boat. And so that's what precipitated our desire to create the 482, um, but also the um, balance 451, which becomes an extremely good value in a boat because it's a two part molded boat. It goes together like this. So we can fabricate that boat from start to finish in approximately seven months. The 482 is going to be more of about a, a, a 10 to 12 month process once we get the tooling, uh, you know, in place. And the 526 will always be a 14 month uh, uh, build time. So those build times uh, become labor hours because.